Let's talk top five losers. Maybe not five. Uh, maybe a little bit less in the beautiful win against the Niners. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the One Barn Lepicus Show, a beautiful show. We are winners. We're three and four, beating the Niners, but we gotta, you know, as much as we don't want to, we gotta. We're not doing five. We're just gonna do three losers of the game. Let us know in the comments who your losers are, if there is any. And if you don't want to be a loser, subscribe to the channel right now. We are like 35, 36 away from ten k. Can you believe it? I can't. And if you even want to be more of a winner, become a YouTube member too. Do it. Uh, do it so we'll stop talking about subscribing to get to that 10,000. Uh, but until then, do it. A lot of giveaways. But let's do losers. Let's start off with uh, you start. Well, and I don't even want it. Like you've said it. I mean, we, we beat the 49ers at home. So this is a little Go. bit nitpicky here. But I'm going to start with Greg Joseph, the kicker. And I, I don't care about the missed field goal. It's that missed extra point that kind of puts you in a hole. There's a huge difference between being eight points up and nine points up and that missed extra point is the difference there and there's i mean it's a two score game it should be like late in the third quarter and it's not because you miss an extra point yeah the extra points uh last year i mean he missed a ton of them we should be used to it by now um but well and right. thing that sucks it was after that huge incredible jordan addison touchdown at the end of the half like momentum's just crazy everybody's going nuts and he then he missed the extra point i mean, it's just I mean that but we got to give it to him it's the first one he's missed all year i believe uh which you know it's pretty surprising but now he did it now it's going to be back in our heads yeah. cause a lot of issues you're right the long field goal happened i mean he had a, he had a long one before that but it's just because of the extra point so Greg Joseph is on the list. Let's go with the man. Let's go with the play caller, the head man, the, the chief, Kevin O'Connell. You know, we got to give him praise. He beat a team at home um, uh, with everything against him, but weird plays. The the this quarterback sneaks back to back. They're not going for it on third down. They try to get that first down at the end to kick the field goal. I just didn't like it. Didn't like it. I, didn't, I wanted more balls. Yeah, uh, the, the two goal line um, settling for field goals there was a little bit frustrating. And you got to remember, you're two and four. You're a team that, you know, most everybody's writing you off. There's no chance to get anywhere this year. Already talking about trading players, number one pick, whatever. No more. Play a little, be a little reckless. Be a little reckless in those situations. I hated the run call uh, late. Throw the ball. Kirk's hot. Uh, you're really having your way with the San Francisco defense. To run there was a little bit head scratching. Also, like, to put Alexander Madison in these red zone packages where he's like leading league and drops and, you know, he's out there running routes. I don't think that's a great head coaching decision, but overall he had his team fired up. We came out, we were down a couple of players uh, and, and he did have his team ready to play, but just some decisions where I, I thought he actually, the team maybe won in spite of him a few times tonight. Yeah, and let's remember. I mean, he was fired up. I love seeing that side of Kevin O'Connell. I love him yelling at players. I love him yelling at refs. I mean, he, he he's kind of the nice guy. He's a nice guy coach, and uh, maybe that's starting to wear off, or maybe the maybe the tough start to the season. But uh, Kevin O'Connell, come on, man, let's go, baby. But just remember, we did beat the Niners. We did beat. So he's a loser, but I, I'm not like really upset with him. No, we got to put somebody on the list. And and again, we're only having three. And this last guy, Alexander Madison. Eight carries, uh, 39 yards, average almost five yards on the, a carry on the ground, uh, was out, out rushed by Cam Akers. Cam Akers had 10, but he's on here because, again, the the the, the red zone play, the little pass, catch yeah. the ball. Kept running his route, probably should have settled down there, caught that thing. Again, why is he even altering the first place? You're leading the league in drops. I wouldn't put him out there. I mean, Cam Akers had, like, the entire series uh, of snaps that play, and then at the end they, they pull him. So a little bit on the head coach, but also Madison, catch the ball. It's not that hard. But like, I mean, come on, man. I, I still have not seen a really solid. Everybody agreed though on the on the post game. It's like he should have caught the ball. He 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 should have had it. That's on him. So I'm gonna believe everybody and and put it on him. Um, but I mean, running on the on the ground, he actually did fairly good. He had a 19 mm -hmm. yard rush. Almost we almost got that 20 yard rush first one of the season. But uh, Madison, it's just it's just more of like. I think everybody just wants to see something different now. I think they want to see more acres. And I think I think what's he's gonna be the easy one to kind of pick on. It's just it's just not there, like with Madison as the lead back. It's just not working. And it's not like it's horrible. It's just not like he doesn't have that extra 
I don't know what to even say. The extra oomph. No, maybe, maybe Akers gets out there and he gets delegated. That he, he shined as that number two. Yeah, guy. and maybe that's where he needs to be. Maybe that's his role. Shine bright like and a that's diamond. fine. And it's fine. Vikings are three and four. They just shocked the pants off the NFL uh, by beating the Niners. So you know, if you don't want to put a a loser, it be, put a winner in this one too. We would love to see some positivity. Let's go. Yeah, we don't like doing the losers, but we stick to our guns. Win or lose, we're going to have winners and losers after every game, uh, whether we like it or not. But the Vikings are winners, uh, three and four. Uh, this season is back, Let's baby. Go. The season is back. All right, remember this while you're thinking about the losers in this game. Chameleon skin is made up of tiny mirror-like crystals that reflect different levels of light, allowing it to change color.